My name is David Mello. I'm the supervisor of Children's Services here at the Fall River Public Library. And I would like to share some stories with you today. And my theme today is one of my favorite themes, teddy bears. I can't think of a person who doesn't love teddy bears. And I've got some fun teddy bear stories to share with you this morning, or stories just about bears in general. And we're going to start out with Kipper's Bear. Where, oh where, is Kipper's Bear? Now Kipper is a little dog and he's lost his teddy bear. We're going to see if we can help him find it. There are birdies in the apple tree and something peeking out. But where, oh where, is Kipper's teddy bear? That's what this book is about. And who could be in that apple tree? Let's take a peek. <gasps> a bunch of birds and a cat. He's not here, says the cat. Well, let's continue looking for Kipper's bear, shall we? The little mouse has lots of friends. His friends have many more. Have they seen Kipper's teddy bear? That's who we're looking for. And the little mouse shakes his head. No, they have not seen Kipper's bear. Let's continue to look. On this page, there are piggies. There are piggies everywhere. But little pigs is all there is, and not one single bear. And this little pig says, try the next page. But before we do, let me see. There's something down in this, in this great big group of pigs. What, well, what's going on down there? Is that a teddy bear? No, it's another pig. Well, let's turn the page and see if we can find Kipper's bear. Shh. We mustn't wake the baby when we look inside the cot. Could Kipper's bear be hiding there? No, 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 he's not. Well, we see a bunch of other teddy bears. We see uh, stuffed animals. We see a rabbit, a duck, an elephant, a little white bear, but that's not Kipper's bear, that's baby's bear. I think we gotta keep on looking. Go back to sleep, baby. This hole in the ground with a mound is a mole's, but this little hole without is a vole's. Rat holes are scruffy. They don't care. <gasps> we don't care, they say. Do you think this hole could be hiding a bear? <gasps> There's a hole in that tree trunk. There could be the teddy bear inside. Shall we look? Let's take a peek. Okay, teddy bear, are you there? Boo! It's Kipper! I guess he was in there looking for his bear, but he came up empty-handed. Let's keep on looking. There are pinky purple bleeper people hiding on the moon. And they have got their teddy bears. We hope you find yours soon. They all say. And look at all the purple bleeper people. They all have their teddy bears, but no Kipper's beer. Let's keep on looking, guys. It's dark along the hallway and underneath the stair. What's hiding in the corner? Is that the teddy bear? Now let's pull aside the coats. Maybe the teddy bear is there. There's a bunch of winter coats there. Oh, something's there. No! We're under the stair bears. Not teddy bears. They're the real thing. Let's keep on looking for that teddy bear, guys. Where, oh where, can that little bear be? And why, oh why, has he gone? And how, oh how, can we find him? Now that the book is nearly done. 
for twinkling stars are up above and kippers can't stop yawning. We'll put him to bed, that sleepy head, and we'll look for the bears in the morning. Well, it looks like we didn't find that missing teddy bear, so we'll just tuck Kipper. Wait, we didn't look under the bed. One place we didn't look, shall we look? Let's turn up the covers, let's see. There he is! We found the teddy bear! He was under the quilt reading all along. Well, give yourselves a big hand, everybody. We finally found him. And that's where, oh, where is Kipper's bear? My next story is about a bear that is too big to fit inside the book. It is called Big by David Bedford and Leonine Worthington. Big is too big to fit inside an ordinary book. We can only fit his nose on this page. Look at that. He's enormous. Big waves. Hello! We can only fit his hands on this page. He's quite large. Big can see you, but you can't see all of Big. We can only fit his head on this page. Big can't stand on his head. What a silly bear. And Big can wiggle his toes. Can you wiggle your toes? Tickle, 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 tickle. Big's legs are as long as tree trunks. Look at this. Look how long his legs are. But we can't fit the rest of him in the book. Big curls up as tight as he can, but still he doesn't fit. Can you guys curl up like a ball at home? See how tiny you can get. No matter how tiny he gets, it's still not tiny enough to fit in the book. So, big makes a bigger book. And look at that. He came up with his own solution. And finally, big fits. What a clever bear. And that, everyone, is big. My next book is a brand new book that has recently come to the library and it's automatically become a favorite of mine. It's called, There's a Bear on My Chair by Ross Collins. There's a bear on my chair. There's a bear on my chair. That little mouse looks rather upset. That bear is too big for that chair. He is so big, it's hard to share. There isn't any room to spare. We do not make a happy pair, a mouse and a bear, with just one chair. When I give him a nasty glare, he seems completely unaware. I don't know what he's doing there, that bear who's sitting on my chair. I must admit, he has some flair. He has fine taste in leisure wear. I'm fond of how he does his hair, but still, I wish he was not there. I'll try to tempt him with a pear, to lure him from my favorite chair. But he just goes on sitting there. 
why won't he go back to his lair? Maybe I'll give him a scare. I'll jump out in my underwear. But no, of course, he doesn't care. That stinky bear sat on my chair. I understand that bears are rare. I know they need the utmost care. I know all that I am aware, but still, I cannot stand this bear. Uh-oh. Looks like the mouse gave up. Hmm. That's it. I'm done. I do declare. This bear has led me to despair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm going now. I don't know where. Yes, he's had enough, that little mouse. He's giving up on his chair. But look, the bear got up. He's left the chair. I guess he decided to go home. And there he goes, he's going to his igloo. Hey, there's a mouse in my house. I wonder if the bear will have trouble getting the mouse out of his bed. And that's, there's a bear on my chair. This could go on for a long time. A lot of us remember our first teddy bears. Some of us still have them. They might be the one that's kind of worn out with stuffing coming out of his side and an unsewn nose. But you know, no matter how many teddy bears we have, our oldest, our first teddy bear is often our most loved one. And this story is about such a bear called My Old Teddy by Dom Mansell. My old Teddy's leg came off. <gasps> Poor old Teddy. Well, I took him to the Teddy doctor, and she made Teddy all better. And let's see, the Teddy bot doctor is going to put a bandage on there. Oh, much, much better. But then, my old Teddy's arm came off. <gasps> Poor old Teddy. Oh dear. I took him to the Teddy doctor and she made Teddy all better. Let's see, we'll bandage him up over here on his arm. And look at that. He's as good as gold. But then, then my old Teddy's ear came off. <gasps> Poor old Teddy. <gasps> well, once again, I took him to the Teddy doctor. And she made Teddy better. Let's bandage up his ear. There we go. Oh, he's as right as rain once again. But then, then, poor old Teddy's <gasps> head came off. <gasps> Oh no, the teddy bear doctor said, Teddy's had enough now. Teddy has to rest. The teddy bear doctor gave me a brand new teddy. <laughs> well, I love my new Teddy 
very, very much. But I still love my old Teddy best of all. Now, if you love teddy bears, one of the newest features that we have at the Fall River Public Library is our friend here, Dewey the Read to Me Bear. Now, Dewey can circulate from the library to children who love to read. And when you have Dewey at home with you, you'll read to him your favorite books. And then you'll keep track of those books that you read to Dewey on Dewey's Reading Journal. Write down the titles, write down your name, and stick it right back in Dewey's backpack so that other children who take out Dewey will see what's been read to him. And they might even decide to read the same books that you've read. And Dewey can be found in the children's room at the Fall River Public Library. So next time you drop by to see us, come say hello to Dewey. And if he's here, you might want to take him home and read him a book. If you enjoy today's stories about teddy bears, visit the Fall River Public Library and check out your own books. And while you're here, if you've seen this show, ask about getting your own teddy bear puppet kit. You'll have everything you need to put together your own teddy bear puppet. So come up to the children's room desk, say you've seen today's show, and ask for your own teddy bear puppet craft.